Good morning, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for the trading session Tuesday, the 22nd of May 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com and download the apps at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay then, so Asian markets overnight certainly subdued, uh, China more or less flat, although uh, one of the uh, indexes there off is off on holiday. Uh, the uh, situation in, uh, in, uh, in Japan certainly with the Nikkei 225 closing down 42 points. So the euphoria over this so-called China deal or China truth certainly seems to be fading now. Okay, let's see how the market reacts in the US session. Uh, European markets certainly subdued as well to a large extent given the fact that the sterling certainly has started to push up given the fact that Mr. Carney and co have indicated rate hikes are certainly are expected to come uh, even though it's just a temporary pause which in turn obviously caused sterling to rally. Uh, again, uh, the inverse relationship between sterling and um, the FTSE 100 certainly is evident, as you can see in the 15 minutes charts. We bought bounce from that 1.3410 on the GBP USD. So, certainly breaking through on this inverted head and shoulders formation here. So, keep a watch out here. Okay, looking to potentially move even higher. Okay, so again, that's negative for FTSE 100. Oil prices, let's just bring up Brent. Let's see exactly where we are. Failed to obviously make a new high thus far on a 60 minute chart. The pivot high so far has been 80.5. Haven't really been able to penetrate that, which in turn obviously triggers this so called um, well, the famous HS formation, as we already know. So your left shoulder is here, head, okay, and your right shoulder more or less is going in. So provided we can hold that right shoulder here, okay, uh, around the Fib 75%, oil price is certainly moving lower. So watch out there in terms of oil, okay. Uh, having said that, the daily chart obviously we already know is bullish thus far but having said that that topping tail certainly has held thus far that uh, that potential uh, or having said that it's, it's held historically but again topping tail certainly holding thus far we've got a bearish engulfing candle followed by it and therefore looking for potential reversal so let's see uh, exactly what happens here uh, let's see if we can connect me these trend lines across uh, nothing really uh, nothing really from that perspective okay so again just wait and see for, for the price of oil the dollar certainly has risen, okay. Uh, yields rising in uh, in the U.S. as well hasn't had effect on uh, on the on any commodity sector to a large extent. Uh, overnight, we have had uh, news from China, which obviously has sent copper higher as well, given the fact that China has indicated that it's uh, going to reduce its tariffs on its automobile sector. So again, that's going to be negative uh, for uh, the uh, dollar to a large extent. Okay, we'll be bullish for. Uh, Asian economies, Asian markets, and also, also uh, especially for the Aussie and the Kiwi, and also can be bullish or is interpreted as being bullish for European equities as well. So just bear that in mind, okay, in terms of the market. So that's basically where we stand uh, in terms of uh, fundamental news flow this morning. Really, it's all about Mr. Carney and Co. Uh, and uh, certainly the result of that, obviously, as the dollar strengthened, sorry, the GBP has strengthened. Let's look at the German DAX now. The German DAX has. I made a wall of resistance at 13,130. Now that can coincides with the weekly uh, fib resistance. So watch out there. Weekly fib resistance is 13,130. So again, looking for resistance there. Daily chart coincides with previous support equals resistance at 13,130. So again, watch out there. Uh, Euro USD has risen quite sharply. Okay, again, that certainly has caused uh, concern for um, European equities, given the fact that the uh, inverse relationship certainly exists. And you can see here it's starting to push higher now. So interesting again an inverted head and shoulders certainly is active here as well um your left shoulder uh, head obviously the right shoulder is here with the bullish engulfing candle and again that's causing pain for european equities in terms of its exports okay and that's causing the, the german dax to drag as well to a large extent let's just cross reference that with the mdax mdax as you can see close the gap topping tail fib 75 percent everything is indicating german dax to potentially move lower which in turn Obviously, we'll send European equities lower as well. Okay. Uh, in terms of your French CAC, let's just bring up the French CAC here. Uh, the weekly chart, as we already know, we broke into new highs, so you just have to respect that to a large extent. Uh, a lot of that really is due to the price of oil. Okay. Uh, CAC heavily, CAC and the FTSE are heavily skewed towards the commodities, so bear that in mind. Uh, moving on to the daily chart, again, it's a breakout, but is that a real breakout? Is it a true breakout? Uh, having said that, this topping tail here has helped, has is, is holding, okay, followed by another topping tail, so watch out there, looking for a potential reversal, back to the breakout, certainly uh, very, certainly very possible, okay, uh, again, you've got an unfilled gap here, okay, 
and you've got an unfilled gap here as well so two gaps to potentially fill down below so watch out there in terms of european equities and especially the french gap okay has been a monster run so you have to respect that monster runs thus far okay 10 minute chart again french gap has an unfilled gap of 5615 that certainly needs to be closed support below 5600 and potentially we could crack lower so uh, certainly uh, profit taking uh, seems to be the uh, the theme at present okay in terms of the FTSE 100 let's bring that up daily chart has broken through you have to respect that okay but having said that oil prices have failed to make new highs so again you have to respect that as well watch out for that potential uh, repercussion there okay so uh 60 minute chart very impressive okay very very impressive certainly pushing higher here uh, on the uh, 60 minute chart as well bearish engulfing candle thus far now the 10 minute chart has gap filled below at uh, 7660 so watch out there uh, and again so far we've held this potential topping tail okay let's see if we can start to reverse from there so watch out from that perspective okay again looking to retest previous resistance equals support at 7850 and then down to 7820 and then eventually gap fill at 7780 so that certainly is possible as well especially with the us vix into support so watch out there okay that's basically where we uh, stand euro stocks last but not least let's just quickly cover that for you uh, again uh, the weekly chart is into fib 75 percent which is obviously um, uh, certainly concurs with the german dax in line with that uh, daily chart we've stalled at fib 75 percent which again is that key key instrumental uh, pivotal point okay on all universal time frames 60 minute chart again looks like it's a lower high thus far looking to potentially break lower so watch out below and the 10 minute chart at the moment really is just oscillating okay so we're oscillating between 3585 obviously um, 3585 resistance uh, we have a potential support below here at uh, 35 3570 so watch out there okay we can't hit this diagonal trend line mm really going to work for now let's just hold up horizontal resistance for now so again support below at 3566 as well so let's see how the market reacts that's the important thing how the market reacts not how we expect it to react really uh, it will move based on um, the fundamental currents in the market okay either way that's the uh, status quo in terms of european indices please be sure to visit cfds.com certainly take advantage of the bonus there and please be sure to visit trade signal and download the latest app goodbye now